Hey guys, this is Xpider here. Uh, I'm going to start up doing commentaries again. I know I've been slacking recently. Uh, I was trying to get my montage done, my Gears of War first montage. I know it's probably late as hell to uh, you know do something like that, but uh, it's just the game I really liked or whatever. So I hope you guys go watch that. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about my first time I got drunk. Now, <laughs> I definitely don't suggest doing shit like, like, because I don't want, oh, I know, you know, I'm, I'm a small ass channel or whatever, but I just don't want to, like, send out the wrong message or anything, so, uh, yeah, definitely don't drink, guys, it's not something cool to do. I did it because I was forced, someone put a gun to my head, I didn't know what to do. I, no, I'm joking. Uh, yeah, just don't do it. I, I did it because I'm awesome like that. But, uh, so I told my shift manager that I didn't want to work on, on, uh, on Saturday. Well, not Saturday. I told, him I, I told her I didn't want to work on uh, nights anymore. And she seemed like she was perfectly fine with it, you know, until I looked at my schedule for the next week, and she still had me on night shift. So I was like, what the hell does this woman think I'm... Because the reason I don't want to work night shift is because uh, my, my grandma, she just doesn't like driving at night. She, you know, she's just not a night person. She doesn't... And sometimes I work till like, like 1 in the morning, 1, 1 30 in the morning. And that's kind of that's kind of late to like you know ask your grandma to like come pick you up or whatever. So, I uh, I you know just to save her some some stress I guess and to you know save her some sleep, <laughs> I uh, you know I asked for night shift to uh, to not not have to work a night shift, and I'll just work you know as many days as she's want as she wants me to. So uh, yeah. I looked at my schedule and I still had a Saturday night shift and Saturday because I usually work Friday and Saturday night but Friday nights we get out of there because the store closes at like 11 we get out of there probably about 1130 on Saturdays for some reason we get out of there at like 1 in the morning like you know as I said previously so I saw she had a, me on a night shift or whatever I was like alright I'll just have one of my co-workers drive me home you know it's fine so uh, I have this coworker named Jamal, and he's drove you know he drove me home before. He's pretty cool. We talk about you know the Falcons or whatever. You know I'm cool with him, so I know he wouldn't have a problem with uh, driving me home. So I uh, I I get to work that day right, and I I I, uh, I start asking people. I'm like, hey, have you seen Jamal? Because he's usually there before me. So I was like, hey, have you guys seen Jamal? And they are all like, oh, no, he uh, he called out today. So I was like, well, that there goes my ride home. <laughs> but uh, there's these two girls that work at my job. I'm not going to give names. But uh, just to give you an idea, one of them has a little bit of weight to her. And the other one, she's kind of skinny and she has some really big titties. <laughs> like not even being a horn dog, but that's just like a distinctive feature, I guess. So... Uh, yeah, one, you know, uh, as I said, one's kind of big and the other one just has big ditties. Keep that in mind. So, uh, and they both want the D. Like, you, I'm not even trying to be cocky. You can just tell when when a girl wants the D. And they definitely wanted the D. So, they was like, oh, no, we'll give you a ride home or, you know. So, I was like, all right, that's fine. I, I, I won't mind, you know, even though it's kind of weird. Because uh, I think you guys will rape me or whatever. And they're like, oh, no, we won't rape you. and da, 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 You know, all this stuff. <laughs> I was just joking. I wouldn't mind if they raped me. Besides the, the big girl, I, I, don't, I don't want her to rape me. But, um, yeah. So that was like, the only thing is we have to make a stop at my friend's house first. And I was like, ah, it's kind of creepy. I don't know anybody. And, and they're a little bit older than me. I'm 19. These girls are like 21 and 22, I think. So they're obviously going to have older friends than me. So I was like, ah, you know, it's kind of weird. Uh, I won't know anybody there. And just walk into someone's house is a little crazy to me. <laughs> but uh, they kept saying their friends are, are cool and they won't mind. So I was like, whatever, you know, I'll go with you. So we get off work probably about 12. Yeah, probably about 12, 1230. And... Uh, we stopped by this this girl's house well her apartment and she doesn't really live that far away from the store so you know I guess that's cool too 
So we get there, and like maybe not even like five minutes in. Well, all right, let me let me say this. As soon as I walk in, there's like nothing but some like fine ass women in that room. Like I swear, any of them could have got my meat sausage on any given day. So, so I, I you know I, I I definitely didn't mind being there. And there was only one guy there at that point, and uh, he was actually really cool, so if anything, he helped uh, try and get uh, the ultimate goal, if you know what I mean. He, he wasn't one of those, like, corny-ass guys. You, you guys get what I'm saying. So, uh, so, yeah, they're all, like, asking me questions like, oh, what do you do, and... Like, how'd you meet, uh, you know, your two co-workers or whatever? Now, I'm only saying that because I don't want to say their name. And they're just trying to get to know me or whatever, and I can, <laughs> I can already tell some of them are a little drunk, so you know it, it was just funny, and like maybe maybe five minutes after that, uh, one of my coworkers, I know she brought uh some high C home, and she gave me like a a glass of high C. It was a pretty big glass. And she was like, all right, go ahead and uh, and drink some. And I was like, oh, what's in it? She was like, oh, no, it's just juice. I was like, all right. So I drank it. And I swear my mouth has never been as dry as it was when I drank that, that substance. <laughs> it was so dry. It, it literally killed me. Like, it made my stomach hurt almost instantly. It, it seemed like the nastiest thing ever. I was like, no, that there's no way that is just juice. So I asked her, I was like, what in the hell did you put in that, that high C? She was like, uh, you know, maybe something spilled in it. So she finally told me, it, she mixed it with vodka. And I was like, okay, you know, because vodka is even strong to people who do drink. So to someone who, like, never drinks, it's kind of, it's kind of like going zero to 60 pretty fast. If you, <laughs> if you're picking up what I'm laying down. So... Yeah, that that was pretty crazy. And then uh, after that, we was kind of just like chilling, you know, socializing a little bit. I can kind I drank like sixty to seventy percent of it. I, I kind of started feeling like my hands tingle. It, as I said, like I I've never been drunk before, so I, I don't really know like how it feels. Like when I'm high, I know I'm starting to get high when I start to feel like weird sensations in my teeth. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, that that's how I know when I'm high. But you know, I, I've never experienced this before, so I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So, so we're just sitting there, we're socializing, whatever, and then they give me like a few sips of uh, White Russian. It, it kind of tastes like coffee until you swallow it, no homo. Then you can definitely taste the alcohol in it, but it was definitely better than the uh, high C vodka mix. That that shit was terrible. But uh, you know, I drank a little bit of White Russian, and then we started playing this game called uh, Taboo. That it gives you pull like a card out of a deck, and it has like two words on it, and you have to try and do, like you're on a team, and you have to try and get your team to guess the words that are on the card that you got without saying like some of these other words. It, it's just really fun, but you know, as this being my first time playing it, it was kind of tricky for me. And on top of that, being kind of buzzed made it a little bit harder for me. And I could tell I was starting to get kind of drunk because that's when I uh, started. I, I like kind of stumbled, like I dropped a card once on the on the carpet, and I swear it was the hardest thing to pick that card up. But you know, it wasn't anything like too noticeable. It was just a slight stumble. It's not like I fucking dolphin dived into her wall or something I didn't put any holes in the wall I just you know slight stumble so so I was alright and then we played this game called uh, never have I ever aka five fingers you put up ten fingers and then you say never have I ever and then you say something you've never done and then anytime someone says something that you have done you gotta put your fingers down and then when you get to five fingers that's when you have to take a shot just straight vodka like no mix or anything and of course I, I got down to five pretty damn fast so I, I took a shot every people took shots even before me and I, I almost had everything so it, it was just kind of funny seeing like you know what college kids do but 
But, uh, yeah, I ended up taking, like, two shots of just straight vodka. That was the worst experience of my life. Uh, it, it, it just, man, it, it really made my stomach hurt. I didn't throw up or anything, by the way, so don't think I, uh, I did any, any of that sort of nonsense. But, but yeah, I, uh, I, I didn't throw up. My stomach just hurt, like, really bad almost the whole night, and I was pissing like a Russian racehorse. But, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, uh, I ended up taking the two shots of vodka, and then we were really, ju we really just sat around and socialized for a good, like, hour or two then. And, but when we were playing the Ten Fingers, I forgot to mention this, when we were playing the Ten Fingers and Never Have I Ever game, these girls, man, they were talking about some of, like, the freakiest shit I've ever heard people talk about openly. They were talking about like, like threesomes and swallowing and and fingering fingering themselves on camera and like all this crazy shit. It was like so funny, but like you know you can kind of tell like, hey, I might get some tonight. <laughs> but uh, it, I'm not being a horn dog, guys. You know you would think the same goddamn thing. So don't don't even don't even try and get me with that bullshit. So. Every girl there was freaked out. We were all kind of drunk, so you can already tell kind of where this night is going. But, um, yeah, we just socialized for maybe like an hour or two after we played that, and, uh, people were still, like, drinking and stuff, but I, I definitely knew my limit, and I just denied anything else that came my way. And then the girl who was driving me home was like, all right, I think it might be time to go home. I look, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, so I'm like, yep, I might be fucked tonight. Like, there's no way that I can get home and think of a good enough excuse to why I was out so late without, like, getting punishment somehow or some way. But before uh, I was about to leave, everyone was like, oh, we gotta go in the, bit uh, the, bit the bathroom and take pictures. You know, we gotta remember this night. So it was like me and, like, maybe four or five girls in the bathroom. And they all rotated giving me a kiss on the cheek. And they all, like, took a picture with me and just all this crazy shit. So, you know, it was just kind of cool kind of being, like, the center of attention or whatever. But <laughs> I, I still haven't got the pictures. I, I really want to see what I look like when I'm drunk or whatever. But, but yeah. And then as we were about to leave, these two girls, one, man, this one, I swear I would have gave her the meat sausage any day of the week, any time of the day. Any, if it was a full moon, if there was no moon, any, if it was, if the world was about to end, any, if I was married, I would still give her the D. Uh, I'm just gonna name her C. And then there was another girl who was there, she actually owned, uh, the apartment. And both of them were like, well, yeah, you know, you gotta come back. And then there was like, well, if you want us to rape you, we will. And they don't mean, like, when they say rape you, they don't mean, like, they're gonna, like, stick my finger on my, stick my, stick my finger. Stick their finger on my butt or something, like, when I'm not looking. They just mean, like, they're gonna give me some, uh, some poon. So, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that, that's not what they mean, though. So, don't think I, I, I just have girls sticking their finger up my butt, because that's not happening. But I was like, you know, maybe I do. And then the girl who was uh, driving me home, she was like pulling me into the hallway of the apartments. And then the two girls were like pulling me back into the uh, apartment. I, I swear I would have gave them the meat sausage. But I end up saying like, okay, you know, it is kind of late and I'm kind of drunk right now. So they let me go or whatever. And then as we were walking, uh, well, one of them, the the girl who owned the apartment, she walked me and my coworker back to the car. And uh, <laughs> man, when you're drunk, you just do some stupid shit, and you you just don't give a fuck. So as we were walking, I was like feeling all over this girl's ass, and she did not care like one bit. But it it was just funny. It was pretty fucking cool too. But. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we got in the car, and then my coworker was like, yeah, that, the, both of them would have gave you head, like, no doubt. You didn't even have to do anything, like, in return. They would have just gave you head. And I was like, well, you need to fucking let me out and go back into the apartments then. And she was like, no, Paul, you're drunk. You're drunk. You don't need to be doing this kind of stuff. She was like, 
if you're sober, it would have been different, but you're drunk right now. I was like, man, fuck. But, I mean, I, I kind of respect her for, like, looking out for me or whatever, but she did cock block the hell out of me. But we're riding or whatever, and, and mind you, we're both drunk. Like, it didn't even occur to me that I'm getting in the car with a drunk girl, but we're both drunk. She's even more drunk than I am, but she's been drunk before, so she kind of knows how to control it. But we, uh, we're, we're riding, and then we're like, where the fuck are we? I was like, are, are we in downtown Atlanta? Because that's what it looked like, and I live nowhere near downtown Atlanta. So then we pull into a, a gas station. It was a QT, you know, one of those open 24-7. And it, it was like maybe 5 in the morning by this time. I was like, holy shit. But uh, it still didn't register to me. And I got like some gum to kind of get the alcohol like uh, off my breath or whatever. And I think she got she got her some like kind of spicy shit. So we, you know, we end up fighting our way back. You know, it's cool or whatever. And like right before I'm about, well, we're about to pull into my street. I was like, I know, I know, I don't want to seem like a horn dog, or whatever. And I know it's kind of weird since I'm your coworker, but I really would like to feel on your titties. And this is a girl, not the big girl, the girl that's small but has big titties. And then she just kind of like started laughing or whatever. And then she was like, "Okay, Paul, I'll let you feel on my titty." And I was like, "Well, shit." So then she pulled into like a little side street <clears throat> right before you get to my street and uh yeah, I kind of just started feeling on her titties or whatever. And then I was like, I, I don't know what happened with me, but I I just I just pulled my dick out. Like it it <laughs> I was like possessed by the horn dog devil to just pull it out. So I did or whatever and then I was like, "Well, do you want to give me a head?" And then she was like, no, I don't give head. And I was like, well, fuck. So I was like, there goes that plan. So just as I was about to, like, put it back, she was like, I'll spit on it, though. And I was like, well, I mean, shit. I guess anything's better than nothing. So, you know, she was, she gave me a hand job, and she was, like, spitting on it and shit. And <laughs> I swear it took me forever to finally, uh, you know, get there, get, get to the finish line. And I swear it was because I'm drunk. Because it, I, she was getting a workout. Like, it literally went for probably about as long as this video. But uh, anybody that comments to say, oh, I go 20 minutes every time, you're a fucking douchebag, right? But anyway, yeah, so then that happened. And then uh, she's like, all right, you, you need to get out of the car. She's like, I, I'm going to end up having sex with you. And she's like, I don't want to do that while you're drunk. So I was like, at, at this point, I really didn't know what the fuck was going on. So I was like, all right, you know, I, I'll just leave. So I, I leave. It takes me like a few minutes to get home. You know, as I said, we were right by my street, so it wasn't that bad. I, I walk into the door. I look. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, yep, uh, I'm definitely going to get like a, a talking to in the morning. So I go to sleep or whatever. It actually took me a while to go to sleep. I don't know. I just kept thinking about everything that night. So, uh, I, the way I sleep, it's kind of weird. It's, uh, I kind of sleep in increments. Like, I'll sleep for four hours, be up for, like, 30 minutes, and go to sleep for, like, two more, wake up and go back to sleep, you know, kind of like that. And I just happen to be up at, like, nine in the morning. And then <laughs> my grandma walks in, and I, I have a little chair by my, uh, laptop. And she sits in the chair, and then she's like, so where did you go after work last night? And I completely forgot to tell her that I that we had to make a pit stop. So I was like, uh, you know, I just explained everything to her, but I left out the, uh, the whole, like, it was a party, and there was, like, a lot of girls there, and most of them were, like, seniors in college, and the drinking, and the hand job. I left all that out, obviously. But besides that, I, I kind of told her the truth. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was just my first time getting drunk. It was pretty fucking cool. Not because I got drunk, but because of the people I got drunk with. You just have to be... It's not, it's not that you get fucked up or how fucked up you get. It's about who you get fucked up with. And that's life advice. Trust me. You've heard it here first. On X Spitter's channel. All right. <laughs> But uh, I hope you guys enjoy. This video is long as hell, so if you listen for this long, I think I definitely deserve a like. 
or comment or subscribe or share or something of that nature and uh, i'll see you guys later all right bye